I love that art. I think it's really strong, very cool, very contemporary. My first issue in this room is that it's too high. You walk over to the, the artwork and you want to see the textures, you want to see the detail in there, even if it's an abstract like that, and you can't. So it's what's the rule high. of thumb for hanging artwork? Is it eye level for the middle of the painting or the artwork? Right. Always. And now here we have hotel suite number 12. <laughs> and another black room. I mean, I walk in here and immediately this room feels oppressive. But that is the biggest worry. What were they thinking? <laughs> it, it makes no sense. And Udell, one of the most celebrated artists in Australia, famed for this exquisite and detailed work. Detail that you just don't see from this point. So Anne Judell is watching this show and she's thinking, no, that's not the room that I had in mind for my artwork. <laughs> and I imagine she's pouring herself a very stiff drink <laughs> at this moment. Where should they have started? I think you put the art absolutely where you want it to be and then you build the room around it. Right now, our style maestros have no idea that the teams have taken all their styling tips and chucked them out the window. The brief to the contestants was to create the best, worst room ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, yeah. where do you start? At the Vincent Challenge, Neil was very serious when he talked about hanging his art at eye level. Artwork should always be positioned at eye level. Otherwise, you can't engage with it. We've kept saying about how everything should be at eye line, eye line, eye line, your mirror and your art. So, yeah, they, they have really ignored that. Yeah. Perfect. It's bordering on the worst room I've ever seen in my life. Well, hang on. But that's good because I know that's exactly what they wanted it to be.